So league start is tomorrow. And guess what? I'm here to sway you. I'm here to bait you, okay, into playing something else. If you're like me, a lot of the time you have this whole build plan. And then right before league start, you're all ready to go. But then you decide at the last second, you know what? Let's try this skill out. And usually it goes bad, okay? Usually it's not the best, most optimal choice. But it's more fun that way, okay? Anyways, I wanted to give you guys a bunch of um, off-meta skills that I think you should take a look at and decide to check out before you really lock in that DD. Hey, check me out. I'm a DD player. Um, so anyways, let's get into some of these. Here is uh, the first thing I wanted to bring up was Ellie Hit. Uh, this looks pretty good. Like in terms of just like in terms in terms of like a good attack skill range skill this looks good the numbers look good and i think the scaling vector of the, the more damage per elemental ailment is pretty cool um and it's just like a lot of flat right so it opens up a lot of avenues for gearing and stuff like that um it's definitely something to think about if you're looking at going like wands or bows you know you probably want to go bow i feel like bow is probably going to be the stronger route but wands are cooler in my opinion so that always wins out in the end and the other thing i was thinking about is like Ignite here is probably going to be your weakest ailment. So you might want to use a flame sight with that and just change that ignite into scorch. Just get some of that scorch in there. That way you can get a bunch of uh, pen. Um, but that's something to think about is the elemental hit of the spectrum. Looks good. Um, I did a little bit of POBing on it and it looks really good. Like you can leech start. It looks completely fine, especially as a bow skill. But the other one that I really think is interesting, that I really think has some really good potential is kinetic blast of clustering and this scales off this gives you added physical damage equal to 15 percent of your mana um it has a hundred percent uh effectiveness essentially but because you're getting those four explosions depending on how they line up that could be around 400 percent effectiveness and with the new sacred wisp gem that could come out to like around five six hundred percent um, again, this is all kind of experimental because we don't have the, I, I have never used it. We don't, we don't know what it looks like. We don't know what it's doing, but, um, I, I, I've come up with a few POBs and a few ideas that if it works in the way that I think it's going to work, it, this is going to be really strong and really fun. And it looks like an awesome skill. So something to think about if you like tinkering, if you like making like new fun builds that then become meta, that's always a fun thing to, to try out. And I, I think the kinetic blast, I think it's. I think it's good. I think this one's really, really good. Um, the uh, Summon Holy Relic also looks really good for Summon Holy Relic players. This is also a little bit different in that it doesn't. It no longer has a Nova that is around the relics. The Novas now go on the enemy, so that kind of increases the the clear of it. I've never played a Holy Rel Relic build, but I know someone that does, and they say this looks pretty good. So something you might want to check out. Um, the next is kind. I don't know if I'd call it meta. But uh, it's kind of meta. People, there's people play it, but it's not the most strong skill. But that's bleed bow. I always love recommending bleed bow because it's just one of the most satisfying skills in the game. Uh, just being able to like pop things and then putting a huge bleed on an enemy just feels really good, especially like bosses and stuff. So something you might want to check out is bleed bow. Reap, of course, is the next one I want to recommend. This is one of the strongest skills in the game, okay? It has insane base damage. It's a physical spell, so there's so many different things you can do with it. Um, it it's just, it's it, this is an awesome skill. The whole blood charge mechanic is great. Um, every sort of like good bleed or reap build that you see always has insane damage and insane tankiness. It's just an excellent skill that scales really well. It just requires a couple of like pretty important expensive gems which is the awakened spell cascade and spell echo um but once you kind of lock that in you're off to the races and you have something that's going to dominate the game i mean like you're wiping out ubers right off the bat um and reap is just super fun and there's like so many different ways you can build it there's one with like impale crits there's one that's just like cold convert with crit there's one with leadership's price there's one with um your your just like a sublime vision one where you're fire and you just don't take any is there's so many different ways you can build reap uh it's an excellent skill probably kind of meta to be honest but anyways no one ever recommends it the the next one i want to recommend is um maw of mischief um 
for some reason, no one ever recommends this build. At least I don't see it. People are always talking about other skills. This is the strongest ignite skill in the game. And you put dot cap quickly, okay? I've played this. You can check my channel out. You can see how I've built it. Nothing has changed about it. It's still just as strong. Actually, I shouldn't say that. Because of the like some of the charms and some of the tattoos and stuff that we had in the past, it was actually a little bit stronger before. We don't know how that is going to work out this league. But um, but anyways, it's still going to be really strong. And um, I highly recommend it. It's just such easy gear. And once you get this helmet, that's it. You're good. All you do is scale stone golem levels, minion life levels. You're, you're good. It's insane. It's super strong, super fun. And um, yeah, you can check that out if you've never played it. And you, it, there's nothing like proliferating an entire screen with a huge ignite. There's just very few things in the game, uh, other than Bleedbow, very few things in the game that give you that like satisfying, like, oh, that was nice. And the last one is Perforate, okay? So I made this Perforate build um, two leagues ago in 321. And it is extremely strong. I made this only on 10 divs. And this was kind of later in the league. But uh, it's a slam skill that has both a clear mechanic and a single target mechanic. There's a new there's a new perforate gem that makes the skill even a little bit stronger. And I think people are really sleeping on perforate. Uh, there's so many different ways you can build it, but just just the sheer damage of it is is out there, and it's it scales really really well. I highly recommend if you want to play something melee, check out perforate. I don't know why people haven't caught on to perforate yet. But um, this skill, it does it does some nasty damage. And it's fun. And it's cool because you're not meta and you're melee, right? And that's kind of the coolest way to be. And the coolest people are doing that, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of bait you a little bit. Get you thinking before you lock in your DD or your lightning arrows or whatever it is that you you know you guys want to do. But, um, you know, I think a lot of the fun in PoE is tr playing new builds and doing your best to try to overcome the odds with some of the tools that we have at our disposal and um leaks there's no better way to do that than league start because after league start you already have all the gear you already have a mage blood you already know how it's, it becomes trivial at that point it's really the the fun of it is at league start so think about it you know just check it out all right peace